Hi there. This is a tutorial on how to change the color scheme of a plane in uh, Real Flight G5.5 um, on a Windows 7 system. I'm sure you could do this for different versions of Real Flight. Um, first of all, you load up the plane that you want to edit the color scheme of. And in this case, I've got a Piper Cub or Hobby Zone Super Cub or whatever and I want to change it from this yellow so first thing we do is we go up to aircraft and save color scheme as now what this does is gives us the option to rename this um, so that it creates a few images um, of the UVs of this model that we can bring into a, a image editing software and change so I'm just going to name this as test and hit OK and what that's done is it's saved out a few images here as you can see test and we'll go into that a bit further in a second first thing we need to do is go back in and select that color scheme and hit test and what that does is creating the DDS's and don't ask me exactly what that's doing but it's creating some files in order to uh, work with this particular plane so now we're done with that and if we go over we can see that it's created a whole bunch of other files necessary for mapping the image onto that model okay so what I'll do now is I'll go into Photoshop and I'll load up this test T targa and we can start editing it okay here we are in Photoshop I guess you could use whatever uh, editing software uh, image editing software you choose um, in this case I'm familiar with Photoshop so what we've got here is we've got our test target and this is it this is our the um, layout of that model the UV layout and we can go ahead and change the colors or anything on this and then save it out also what we get is a normal map bump map and we get our spec map and this sort of just adds creates sort of shines and stuff like that onto the model so what we can do here real quickly is um, I just go in and um, change the color of it um, I'll just select that yellow or we can se select whatever we like in this case I'm going to select the yellow and just make that a blue hit OK and there we've got it uh, we've changed it from yellow to blue and we can go ahead now and save it um, over the exact same name um, and then we can load that in but what I want to do is I just want to close this off because I've prepared something earlier and here we have it this is my carbon fiber version <laughs> um, as you can see I've just put a carbon fiber texture over the top and added some graphics bit cheesy but anyway looks looks uh, cool and it's fun so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I will save that and I want to go into my documents folder where I've got my real flight folder vehicles color schemes and it's got the PSD extension so I need to change that to the target extension and then we've got our test target and our normal map and our spec map I want to save it over the top of our test target which is our image and hit save and do I want to replace it yes I do want to replace it and I'm going to leave it at 32 bit and hit OK so what we can do now is if we go back over to real flight oops what I can then do is I can go over to here let it load up and there we've got it we've got go to color schemes we've got uh, the original and there's a new test that we created I'm not sure if you can see that and if we hit fly there we have it we've got our carbon fiber version with the graphics on it um, ready to go so once again we can change the color scheme go back to the original or we can change to the new one we just created so I hope that's helped um, see you later